Hey guys, Sasha from Mobile Geeks here and today I would like to show you um, why I think that the Nexus 7 2013 is one of the best media consumption platforms available on the market right now and why I truly love Android on a tablet form factor. As you can tell, we have quite some competitors over here. Here in the middle is the Kindle Fire HDX7 and here on the side we have the Apple iPad Mini Retina both of these devices, before we're coming to the Nexus 7, um, are brilliant tablets, trust me. But they're also quite similar in terms of how limited you are with this operating system. How they're kind of, um, you know, trying to keep you in their walled garden and that the way they don't want you to customize the overall user experience. So on the iPad uh, with iOS 7, I was kind of hoping that they're going to change this a little bit, but I mean, at the end of the day, this is just a grid of icons. And um, the first time I saw a grid of icons, that was probably when I saw the first uh, graphical user interface. And I think that was on, on a Mac or on the Lisa. So that was the machine that Apple built before the Mac. Um, and nothing really changed and I already saw it on mobile devices, on Windows mobile devices, on Palm devices. It's, it's like all the same. It, to me it feels like a, a phone operating system and they're not taking really advantage of this additional screen real estate. So therefore, even though that I love this iPad mini retina, I love to surf the web with it, I love to play games with it, um, but I'm not really using it um, to read and um, to do in general media consumption. So therefore, I'm sorry, let's switch this off, put it to the side. The same goes with the Kindle Fire HDX7. Um, this fork of Android is just, um, I wouldn't say weird, but as you can tell, I mean, this is mixing up like magazines I've been downloading and apps and music and whatnot. So when you're downloading um, a bunch of content, you are ending up scrolling like forever. Um, of course, you can also scroll down here and I can immediately connect then to the app store and to games and whatnot. I'm getting all of this. But once again, this is basically just a platform that is showing links to an app. And I think this is so boring. And once again, that's where I believe Android is absolutely shining. And therefore, finally, let's switch over to the Nexus 7 2013. And I've set it up in a way where I can immediately access um, well, my favorite content, my favorite magazines, um, my favorite websites, my favorite whatever uh, content that is available in the cloud. So I kind of optimized a bunch of home screens here and um, you're gonna see how I did that and why I did it that way. Let me just move it a little bit over here to the side. So um, the very first uh, widget that you can see over here is my new stand, which is um, a widget that's showing me all the subscription that I have on the Google Play Store in terms of magazines. So I have my Geek Magazine here, I have uh, the Android Magazine. Uh, I always like to see, you know, what's new. If Android Magazine is coming up with a new issue, I immediately know it here and I can download it. Plus, of course, I can also immediately start reading it. Um, there you go. So this is an older one, you see, and then I can read this magazine right away. But let's go back to the home screen again. The other widget that I'm using over here is also a recommendation. Um, let me just click on it. Um, about you know what is available on the Play Store in terms of the latest apps. So uh, I will always get updated. Okay, here is a new tablet app that you might gonna like. Over here they're just recommending me the U-Bike, which is a bike rental system over here in Taiwan. I still have to um, download it to my Nexus 7. I'm also using the Apple Geek widget, um, which is showing me the top story of the day. So whenever I open my first home screen, I immediately know this is the hottest story in tech right now. 
So this is Marissa Meyer from Yahoo kind of making a statement on their mail issues. Okay, plus I need to have Google Music on there. This is a very, very small widget only, but I can immediately, you know, start playing my music, right? Wow, that's kind of dark with the Sisters of Mercy. <laughs> Mercy. <laughs> um, on the right side, um, I always want to stay up to date with the latest news and therefore I've been choosing the BBC News widgets. There's so many other media outlets available, but I just love this BBC News one. Um, I can resize it the way I want it and I immediately know what, what's going on. And these are just general news and international news. I kind of like it. And on the far right, this is basically um, yeah, my playground home screen. So I'm trying to um, use new widgets over here, try them out. So I have this simply recipe widget here. I'm using Keep, which is kind of interesting because when you're um, browsing through recipes and you want to add some ingredients to a shopping list, Google Keep works so fine with this. And therefore, you know what, whenever something new comes out, I'm going to try this on my playground home screen first because I don't want to mess up the other home screens. So let's go back to the first screen on the left. What I'm using here is the Epic Geek widget. In my opinion, that's the best tech news reader that you can get. Um, it's kind of aggregating all the different tech media outlets that are available. So I immediately know I'm showing all the news that are happening right now. Not only the top stories, not only um, the top rated ones, but each and every tech news that is happening right now. And I can also immediately uh, read it in this news app then. Oh, well, let's see, I'm not so sure about our Wi-Fi connection in here in the studio. There you go, all right? Plus I could also just click here on, read on uh, the article on the web and could use it right away. Um, so this is the other very, very important uh, home screen that I'm using. Once again, this is my main home screen, a swipe to the right, and I have all my international news with BBC News, a swipe to the left, I have all my tech news. But there's another screen here on the far left, and that's Flipboard. Flipboard, in my opinion, really nailed it. When they came to the market with their app, oh my goodness, that's absolutely amazing, because I'm also aggregating what's happening in my social networks. So I connected my Twitter, my Facebook, um, my Google Plus to it, and also my Instagram and my YouTube. So I really know what's going on in my networks. Underneath this is a Google Plus widget, which is showing me the trending topics on Google Plus right now. So whenever anything is getting viral on Google Plus, I will see it right away. Plus I'm also using Zeit for tech news, for scientific news and whatnot. I really like Zeit because um, you can also kind of optimize it to your needs, to your favorite topics. And I just like the, the look and feel of it. Plus, you know, over the time, it's really um, kind of learning from you what topics you like and it's optimizing the algorithm and it's kind of offering you additional uh, content. And last but not least, even though I've been aggregating my YouTube channel already in Flipboard, I'm also using this little um, YouTube widget over here. I have no idea why I'm getting all these animal videos right now, which is just giving me, whoa, 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 game fails? That looks kind of like, like a video that you would expect from any other platform. <laughs> um, it's giving me recommendations of what videos to watch. Once again, you can create all of this on your own in about roughly 20 minutes. Just download these apps, get the widgets on your home screens, and optimize it to your needs and you will see you know what a beautiful content consumption platform the new nexus 7 is if you have any questions regarding the widgets if you want to give us some feedback you know what please leave me a comment down there if you like the video it's only a second to give it a thumbs up reshare it and i'm happy to hear from you guys i'm Sasha from mobile geeks thanks for watching Bye.